You good? I'm good, man. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Woohoo! Look at that sucker go. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Anyway, Dude, how fun is that? Trebuchet. <laughs> the trebuchet. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Who? Now Max going to take it apart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my kind of wing fell off, but... That's all right, man. How do you feel now that you've this project is behind you? Man, it's a it it's a good feeling of accomplishment. I know it's something silly, right? You know, but I mean, I cut down these trees uh, on my property, uh, measured it all out, came down here, did all my figuring on my own with a, just a whiteboard and a and a dry erase pen. And uh, made a toy. Yeah. But, uh, you know, it kept me moving. You know, a little sense of purpose to come down and move move the body, move the body, move the body. But You remember when we were talking to the guy at Ace, and uh, he said, you just bored. Yeah. Not Which hardly. is not, not true at all. There's no, all I kinds of things of shit going on. you could be doing. So mm -hmm. how do you justify this in your own mind? Well, it's, it's a new project. But I know that problem solving is always a passion of mine, you know, figuring stuff out. So it motivated me to come down and, I mean, it's, it's not about boredom, it's about doing something new. Yeah. And figuring it out. And so obviously you would encourage other people, squad members. Yeah, and whatever it is, it doesn't have to be a freaking 12 foot high right. trebuchet. Right. Right. But it could be, you know, building a model or doing a puzzle or picking up an instrument or learning a language it goes on and on to keep the, the gears in motion we want those gears in motion we should resist the urge to be stagnant you know stagnation is fine during the day to decompress but you know we should try to avoid a lot of that stagnation right um, so that's why you know on any of my off time when I'm not doing office work I have the dogs, I have the garden, I have the cars, right. I have the artwork, I have the music, um, and I've got a lot of woods to run around in here too. So it's easier to keep a momentum than it is to always have to start and stop oh, yeah, yeah, in yeah. life, right? Yeah, because if you start and stop, you lose momentum, and then when you have to try to reinitiate momentum... It takes a while. Yeah, it takes, it takes a long time. I mean, that's even... <clears throat> that's a... Um, a philosophy in, in close quarter battle oh really you know yeah you don't want to lose that momentum you want to keep it going because when you lose momentum now you have to regain initiative right and it's basically starting all over again so you want to maintain that 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 fluidity that momentum otherwise back to uh back to start point and a trebuchet is a great example of staying in motion yep. right mm-hmm Use your mind, use yep. your body, uh, become resourceful, yep. innovative. Mm -hmm. So you're stretching yourself. Yeah, the, yeah, this stretched me quite a bit. I thought it w initially I, I, I reached like an impasse where nothing happened for a couple days. Um, and I thought, man, this is a bridge too far, yeah. you know. Um, but during the day doing other stuff, I would think about this as well and then light bulb moment I'd have a light bulb moment write something down and then find the time come down for an hour and uh, like figure out how to do that right there right you know right, right. that joining part right there because that joining part was tough getting those all joined right cool all right should we head back up and get some food let's do it <laughs> 